Hello, and welcome back. Uh, here today at Dragonfire Designs, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Rogue One X-Wing toy by Hasbro. Now one of the uh, exciting things uh, that Hasbro's been doing with a lot of their new Rogue One Force Awakens uh, action figure toy and playset line is they have been releasing these more uh, surprisingly budget-friendly versions that uh, this one in particular I found at Big Lots. It's only $15, and within this line uh, they produce the X-Wing, and you can see on the back here that they also have the Millennium Falcon and the TIE Striker. Now these are a little bit smaller, it's a different scale, um, they don't have any open, open cockpits, uh, they, they can't take any of the figures, but they have a remarkable amount of detail so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at this, uh, open it up, and we're going to see what uh, what comes out of the box. And I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do our own custom paint up on this to make a really display worthy piece out of it. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Let's see what we've got. And it comes with looks like a little instructions on how you can download uh, an interactive feature where you can scan the QR code and looks like you can make little mini movies with special effects. Um, could be something interesting to try. Pretty cool they included that. And let's go ahead and take our X-Wing out. Not a bad size. And again, for a $15 toy, it has a surprisingly good amount of detail. X-Foils ratchet open really nicely. You can see we've got a lot of inner wing detail that could be brought out with some washes and dry brushes if we want to make a really nice display worthy piece out of this. Let's go ahead and set that down. Let's take a look at our cannons that are included here. They're made out of sort of a soft, flexible, I want to say polypropylene. It looks like they just pop right on here. Yes, I can do this. All right. Okay, and here we have cannons all attached. They were a little harder to attach than I thought. They have a corresponding um, peg for the top and the bottom cannons, so you don't just put any laser cannon on that you want to. They do have a order for some reason that they chose to make it that they go on. Now that for a $15 toy is not bad at all. Again, like I said, these wings are very sturdy and stable. You're not going to have it accidentally closing on you. You do have to exert a good amount of force on it. And it just snaps down for your basic flight mode. But me personally, I have always preferred the X-Foils in the attack position. Now, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this $15 toy and we're going to give it a little bit of uh, TLC with some washes and weathering. I'm going to try to make this a little bit more realistic. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the results. Let's take a look here. I've just now started adding a little bit of a wash to bring out the details here. Now this is kind of a fun little technique that uh, gives you a little bit of Bob Ross magic, if you will. Very simple to do. But what I'm doing is I'm working with, I have some craft acrylic black, and then I thin it down so it's nice and watery. And all that we do is we run it in there, and it starts to spread and catch in all these wonderful recess details. Boy, that is sounding like Bob Ross, these happy little recess details here. And then just kind of gently wipe away the top layer and you see it leaves behind this nice detail so all the dark stays into the recesses and you just kind of keep working it you make your way along and we're going to do several passes if an area gets a little bit too dark I can still add some water, thin it down. Once I've gone in and given this a complete wash of black, 
I'll probably go in and do a little bit with some browns and give it a little bit of rust tones and we'll come back and see how that looks but I want to share with you how that technique was basically done so here we have it with just a simple black wash to fill in all of the panel lines and you can see how compared to when it was just the straight white plastic we've got so much more depth and detail even did a wash on the inside here to bring out all the engine detail within the inner wings now at this point I could just leave it like this and it would be pretty pretty nice but we're going to add a little bit more. I'm going to go in now with chalk pastels and we're going to deepen some of the exhaust effects throughout the engine intake and the rear engine ports and try to give it just a little bit more depth and a little bit more accurate weathering. Okay, now what I've got here are um, some basic chalk pastels and what you want to do with this is you want to just go ahead and get a little bit of the pastel dust onto your brush and what you can do is just gently spread that in there and that is going to give you another level of weathering that you can control and fade and that's going to really enhance the look and it's going to help us to look as if we've airbrushed without having to break the airbrush out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then we will take a look at the results a little closer in just a moment. Well and there you have it. The completed paint up on the Hasbro X-Wing Fighter. All we've done is we've added um, black acrylic wash to bring out the panel lines and detail and use chalk pastels for some of the exhaust weathering but I would say for what it was and at the price point turns out a really excellent display piece it was intended to be just a child's toy but with a little paint you see how you can transform it into a very impressive X-Wing. Now would it be able to compare to say the more expensive uh, Bandai model kit? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to see them side by side to know for certain but I'll tell you this for fifteen dollars I am pretty pleased. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little review of the Hasbro X-Wing Fighter toy, and if so, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.